Hello everybody and welcome to this video tutorial about how to set up the new CRISP Ticket Center plugin. The Ticket Center plugin is an amazing way to provide support to users in a context where the chat box would basically not be efficient. So for instance, if you are like a hosting provider, a cloud hosting provider providing support, like technical support to your users, tickets will probably be more appropriate. So you will include the Ticket Center plugin as a view, a frame, in your dashboard where your users are already authenticated with their email addresses. So the Ticket Center can be included in a single line of HTML. Uh, so I'm going to show you right now how to set up your own Ticket Center in your dashboard. Let's get to it. <music> I have like a simulation, a test simulation of a dashboard here. So this is my very simple dashboard and I'd like the ticket center to be included right here. Okay. So let me just go to the ticket center plugin setup. So I just installed it from my crisp app. So it's asking me to add my allowed domains. Um, so this is for security reasons. Uh, so I just need to copy this domain name and paste it here. So it's basically my test domain, right? Uh, yours will be your own domain name. So I continue to settings, right? And so the ticket center is welcoming me. So first off, um, I need to click on set of instructions here, um, which will give me the iframe code. So I land on this page and I have the iframe code here, right? So this is what you need to copy and paste in the area where your ticket center will appear. So in this case, I already prepared my iframe code. Let's just review what I should put inside. So here we have the website ID of my crisp website, which I need uh, to include uh, from, you know, there. So I can copy my website ID here uh, and just paste it. it. Right. And then I need to provide my uh, login in users email. So here it's like Alice at acme.com and uh, had hatch max in your signature. So this part is super important. Uh, basically, if I only included this URL, uh, it will not work because the ticket center is uh, protecting you against uh, email in personation. So what we need to do on the backend level is um, generate a signature key which signs the email with a secret key only you and Chris knows. So this secret key uh, should be um, gathered from the security section of your ticket center settings and you just basically copy it, right? Uh, so let me just, uh, for this example, I'm not generating any dynamic HMAC, right? So let me just um, generate my own HMAC on the email I provided. So I use like an HMAC generator online uh, and you will on your side just uh, have some uh, PHP code to do that. Uh, we basically, we document it um, in our help article here, for instance, you have the PHP code to generate an HMAC. It's very simple. Actually, you pass the email, the secret I just copied and you get the HMAC, which then you include in the URL of your iframe. So here, my email was alice at acme.com, right? And so I can compute the hash. So this is what your function, for instance, in PHP will output, right? So the hash Mac is there, right? So this is my iframe. So I just need to copy paste my iframe right here, right? So it's included in my page. And then I go back to the test page and I refresh the page. And boom, you know, you have my ticket center right there. So basically I'm authenticated as Alice at agme.com securely. Uh, and Alice has access to a sub section of your website, which is the ticket center. So let me just um, customize a bit the ticket center. So for instance, we can rename it like Acme support. Uh, we can let users close tickets. Uh, we can just um, add some categories. The user can um, open tickets about. So for instance, billing and refunds. Okay. 
Um, well, please note that I can customize a lot of stuff like frequent uh, questions, uh, navigation links, which are showed at the bottom of the ticket center and so forth, as well as uh, the style with custom CSS. So let me just refresh. Okay. So you see like Acme support. So let me just ask Alice open a new ticket. So let's say uh, I'm not satisfied about the product and I want uh, a refund. Uh, hello, I'd like to get a refund about a product I received today, uh, which I am not satisfied about. Can you please consider that? Alice, okay. So let me just submit the ticket. Okay, so the ticket will be created. Um, so for the users, um, you know, the user will have like a ticket view where basically the user can see all past response as well as your responses. So let me from there go into my inbox and click on Alice. Hello there. And then, you know, Alice can basically refresh uh, the page and see the response here. Uh, Alice will also receive a notification email um, where she can reply from email or reply from the ticket center. Um, okay, and emojis as well work uh, from the point of view of the operator. I'm just spotting the reply and boom, my reply is here. Uh, so whenever I close the session here, basically it's like closing the ticket. Okay, so that was about it, um, about setting up the Ticket Center plugin. So thank you for watching this video. If you have like any question, like on the technical level, if you have like feature, feature requests, just please come chat with us on support. Uh, thank you for watching. Take care.